What's up guys, it's me, FIFAmatic95, and I have a, like, I guess a small little squad builder that I wanted to do, because a mate of mine kindly lent me one of the players that I've been wanting to get on Ultimate Team for a very long time. You can probably see it if you look around the screen, but I'm not going to give it away, I'm just going to let your eyes find it. If you do, then well done. But we're going to jump into the squad builder. It's nothing, like, special, it's just I wanted to show you... A team I put together around this one guy that I just adore in this game. So we're going to start off with the goalkeeper. We have Handanovic in goal. Um, I've never used Handanovic. I used him for a game um, and didn't really get a good feel with him. So uh, in, in the games I show you, there will be, like, I'll probably be getting used to him then. So, uh, yeah, he's he cost me 1,400 coins, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad. He's six foot four, which is perfect height for a goalkeeper. So he can, you know... He's a good, he's good when it comes to like people trying to lob him like through the goal, but it's just because it's just not gonna work. But his stats are really good as well. He has 84 diving, 70 handling, 80 kicking, 84 reflexes, 86 positioning. They are some really good stats for an 83 rated goalkeeper. Now moving on to the left back, we are using a Nagatomo. Um, I could have gone like for other for the others. I just thought like you know what, I haven't used Nagatomo before either, so gonna use him. He's got he's got some really good stats as well for a, um, a left back. He has 88 pace, 77 passing, 79 dribbling, 72 defending. Um, it's a bit poor that his defending his heading is only 59. I mean, he he'll make he would make him a really good defender if his if his heading was near enough 69. But you know, <laughs> uh, he's a, he's a good little left back. He gets he gets back with the uh, wingers a lot. And moving oh god. Right, moving on to the uh, first centre back. Then we are using Campagnaro. Um, I could have gone for like Chiellini or like a lot of other defenders, but I went I went for a cheap defence that was really good as well. I went for Hugo Campagnaro. He cost me seven hundred and fifty coins. He's five foot eleven, uh, three star weak foot two star Nothing really important that you need to know because he's only a defender. But his stats are really good. He has an in format as well, just like an eighty two rated. Uh, he has seventy two pace. 67 passing, 63 dribbling, 83 defending, and 81 heading. And he is an absolute beast as defender. He is so good, and I might go and try out his uh, in form if I get enough coins. And moving on to the other centre back, you probably guessed already. It is going to be the pace demon Ogbonna. One of the most he, he goes he goes along with David Luiz and Kabul as the most overpowered, like not like highest rated centre back so he's a really like overpowered centre back because he has he is uh six foot two um cost me two thousand coins and i'm not surprised he has 80 pace 81 defending and 82 heading there there's some crazy stats so he can get back with a lot of strikers and centre forwards and muscle them off as well moving on to the right back we could you could go with uh abate or i think there's caceres but i went with this guy lichtensteiner um cost me 1500 Coins, he's six foot tall, and he has got some crazy stats. He has 83 pace, 82 passing, 76 dribbling, 80 defending, and 77 heading. And there, some nice stats for a right back is exactly what I like to see. A lot of pace and a lot of like defense, good defensive stats. And moving on over to the left mid, there are a lot of options you can have for the left mid now. There are Zaniga, Armero, uh, El Sharari, uh, Rubinho, Giovinco, uh, Kavan. No, was it? Cassano as well. There, there are a lot of left mids, left forwards, left wings you can use. I went with Zaniga, cheap option. I didn't really want to go out and buy uh, like Giovinco or Rubinho or anyone like that because I'm not going to be using this team for much longer because I will be giving the Mikkeli back to my mate soon. But uh, Zaniga, he cost me 1,100 coins. He's 5 for 8, 2 star weight for 3 star skills. Um, not bad, I guess. He has 88 pace, 73 passing, 81 dribbling. 72 defending, some nice stats there. He's got good defense as well, so he can muscle the uh, oncoming, like I guess, wingers or, um, or centre mids that go towards him. So he's not a bad little left mid. Moving on to the right mid, then we are using Biabiani, the pacey demon he is. Um, there aren't many like right mids or like anyone that like on the right that's really good. Like there's Biabiani, there's Palacio, Pepe, the non rare. Um, Lamela, I guess, is in form you could get. Uh, but yeah, Biabiani is a good little option. Cost me 850 coins, 5 foot 10, 3 star weak foot, 3 star skills with 96 pace. Oh dear. 96 pace, 72 passing, 81 dribbling being his main stats. His 69 shot in game, if you just blast it, it feels like he's got 80 shot for me. He just can he can score some spectacular goals when he's running down the wing. 
Now moving into the centre mids. Um, you can put any centre mid you prefer, but I went with the first one as Marquisio. 84 rated overall. He cost me 2,500 coins. He has 4 star weak foot, 3 star skills. He's 5 foot 10 tall. Uh, he has 80 pace, 77 shot, 82 passing, 84 dribbling, 76 defending, and 6 in the heading. Some really good rounded stats there for a seed uh, centre mid. So he's, he's not a bad little 84 rated player. Moving on to the next guy then, you can. I was going to choose Vidal, but he was kind of expensive because he's, I think he has to be converted from a CDL upwards, so he's quite kind of expensive. So I just went with Freddy Guarin, uh, he's an absolute beast this guy, and his sim form is so good as well. He has 75 pace, 80 shot, 80 on passing, 80 dribbling, 79 defending, and 76 heading, again really round his stats, and he has a cracker of a long shot. Honestly, his long shot is absolutely spectacular, uh, and he cost me 1,800 coins. I think I already said that, but yeah, he's an absolutely fantastic centre mid. Uh, moving on to the strikers, then we had you probably just saw the uh, guy we're going to pop in there, but I went with Mikkeli. No, oh, uh, <laughs> there we are. Anyway, I went with Jovetic as my first, like my first striker. Cost 1,200 coins, which is probably ridiculous because he should be a lot more, in my opinion. He has four star weak foot, four star skill, six foot tall. Um, his stats are 81 pace, 81 shot, 75 passing, 87 during 76 and 83 overall. This guy deserves to be, in my opinion, about 4k, 3.5 to 4k. He is so good. And you probably heard me already say or know, or know what this squad is about. But we have the final guy that as well lent, was lent to me. We have Informed Fabrizio Micheli. Um, it, got, it cost my mate 91k, but if you're going to try and buy him now, he's going to cost you 100k more than 91. He's going to cost you about 195k, um, which is kind of ridiculous. But again, he's going to make some serious profit off him. Uh, he's, he's five foot six tall. He has four star weight, four star skills, um, 86 pace, 87 shot, 81 passing, 87 dribbling being his main stats. His uh, heading is not the best, so don't try and cross it in and try and get headers on him because it's just not going to work. But there is the team. Some really, really solid and fast players in there, especially the wingers and the strike force. And po and like there, there's, there's a lot of pacey players in there. I just realised they're, they're not lacking in pace at all. But um, that's been the squad builder. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to get into some gameplay of uh, the team now. Probably some Mickley clips, more than likely. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy the clips. And I'll uh, put some music over the gameplay as well. So I'll see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye, lads.